Call the meeting to order. Roll call, please. Mrs. Baliska? Present. Mr. DeSarno? Here. Mr. Kaminsky? Here. Mayor Morgan? Here. Mrs. Joffroy? Here. Mr. Kogan? Here. Mrs. McKnight? Here. Submit the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Public meeting of the Borough Council, Borough of Providence County Union State, New Jersey, and put notice has been given in accordance with PL 1975. Chapter 231, that annual notice of revision was made in conformance of Section 13 of the Act. I um, have Ordinance uh, 08. Can I have a motion, please? So moved. Second? Second. Wendy, please read the title. An ordinance of the Borough of New Providence County of Union, State of New Jersey, authorizing the sale of property known as Lot 29 and Block 12, no longer needed for public use. Okay. At this time, we have a uh, public hearing on this ordinance and this ordinance any only. Anybody having any comments, please raise your hand with their name and address. Seeing no one, I declare the public hearing closed. Roll call, please. Mrs. Baliska? Aye. Mr. DeSarno? Aye. Mr. Kaminsky? Aye. Mrs. Joffroy? Yes. Mr. Kogan? Yes. Mrs. McKnight? Yes. At this time, it, it gives me great pleasure to uh, swear in as a permanent officer, full-time officer, Ronald Cadetti. It was on. Here it comes. Of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. That I will bear true faith. That I will bear true faith. And allegiance to the same. And allegiance to the same. And to the governments. And to the governments. Established in the United States. Established in the United States. And in this state. And in the state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. And that I will faithfully. And that I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And justly perform. And justly perform all the duties of police officer. All the duties of police officer. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Congratulations. Christine Stramandinoli, uh, Board of Adjustment, Revolutionary NJ, uh, it's information on joining the uh, network of uh, partners around the state, 
And I think we've already done that, right, Wendy? I believe. The Historical Society and uh, as the liaison, we've been talking about okay. it, and they already are involved. Yeah. They already got it. Okay. okay. Um, next, uh, uh, for the fire department, we've got a lot of memberships. Jeffrey Knight, uh, Alexander Elhuish, and Clint Pazdera. And for junior membership, we have Antonio Gallo, and Jessica Sieb is coming off of a return of absence. Um, it's nice to see a lot of young people joining the fire department. You know, it's good that they get their firemen uh, one and two requirements out of the way while they're young, because yep. it does take a long time to get those certifications. And we have the state DEP, a suspected hazardous discharge from a tank removal. Any comments? No. Seeing none, we'll go to administration, Lisa. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, we have resolution 2023-299. This is a resolution of the Borough of New Providence authorizing the purchase of electricity supply services for public use on an online auction website. Uh, what's going to happen here is we're going to grant authorization for our Borough Administrator to execute an electricity contract on behalf of the Borough if the auction achieves a price of 11. Okay. Point one one two five zero kilowatts or less for a twelve month term. Point one one zero nine zero kilowatts or less for an eighteen month term, or a price of point one one two six zero kilowatts or less for a twenty four month term. So this is a third party. Um, the borough does go out to auctions to try and get the best price possible for our electrical use. These are 11 cents. 11 cents per kilowatt hour. Okay. 11 11, 11 it's cents. points, but it's not just 11 cents. It's 11 points. Yeah, the points matter. The, the <laughs> points matter. Um, resolution 2023-300 uh, is a resolution authorizing the sale of property no longer needed for public use on an online auction website. Uh, this allows the sale of municipal property through a municipid, and some of the items are 2016 Ford and scepter, uh, our old Christmas wreaths, and the portable ice skating ring, so we can get them out of storage. Okay, thank you. Uh, community activities, Pete. Thank you, Mayor. Resolution 2023-302, I am it. Resolution 2023-301 is a resolution appointing Charlie, is it Salini? Salini. As a part-time senior bus driver, driver for the Corso Community Center, of the Borough of New Providence, effective October 2024, uh, oh, sorry, October 24th, 2023, at an hourly rate of $40 per hour, not to exceed 20 hours per week. Resolution 2023-302 is a resolution authorizing the application for Waste Management uh, Charitable Contributions Program for the Borough of New Providence. It's an application um, seeking $2,000 for signage, tables, and supplies for the 2024 Green Fair and Free Cycle Festival. Uh, resolution 2023-303 is a salary resolution. That's a resolution hiring basketball staff and TRICAN staff for the 2023-2024 uh, season. Thank you. <coughs> Wendy, my daughter's in that, so I'm going to just recuse her. I'll, I'll move that off. Thank you. Okay, uh, finance, Lisa. Yes, resolution 2023-304 is a resolution approving filing of CY 2023 SFY 2024 Best Practices Inventory Questionnaire. This is the annual best practice checklist for the review of council. This year there is a total of 83 questions that are distributed among three scoring categories. They include uh, budget, capital projects, cybersecurity, environment, ethics, financial administration, garbage and recycling, lead remediation, personnel, procurement, shared services, special improvement districts, transparency, and utilities. Based on the responses and the scoring system, the result of the inventory is above the level to receive 100% of the borough's awarded state aid. Uh, so basically the state uh, requires us to complete the survey in order to receive our um, 
appropriation from them for 2024. And the next one is resolution 2023-305, resolution authorizing the payment of the attached bills payable list, $406,305.38. One significant item on this list, and that was uh, 109392 for the wastewater treatment plant, the Gorator pump final payment. This payment includes the installation of the pump, and it was paid with capital funds. Okay. We have uh, raffle requests from OLP, RA 1198 and 99, and the application was probably prepared and reviewed. Resolution 306 is for Collier Engineering, um, for Professional <coughs> Engineering Services, and a traffic study at Central and South Street, and we're looking to adjust the tra timing to improve traffic volume uh, during the day. Uh, resolution 307 is, a, is for East Coast Emergency Lighting, not to exceed $25,130.10, and that's for the fire department, uh, county dispatch equipment, which is upgrades, uh, including um, uh, docking stations and new modems and antennas. Okay, we have public works. Alex. Thank you, Mayor. Resolution 2023-308, resolution authorizing the application for a treatment works approval permit for GHNP Central, LLC, Block 210, Lot 32. Uh, the treatment works approval process involves assessing the design of a new sewer lines and other wastewater conveyance facilities, which includes force mains, pumping stations, etc., as well as evaluating downstream conveyance and treatment capacity. Uh, so, Mr. Cohen, that yep. was removed from the agenda. Yep. Is it on yours? Yeah, it's on mine. Mm -hmm. Are you looking at the one that Alex? I'm reading 308. I have it off of here. Yeah. Okay, 308 should be removed. Okay, okay strike that. Resolution 2023-309, resolution approving change order number one for national water main cleaning in the amount of $20,825 for the 2022 sanitary sewer lining project. The change order number one allows for the lining of seven brick manholes uh, to help reduce the amount of infiltration from uh, rainwater into the sewer collection system. Uh, resolution 2023-310, it's just like it reads. Resolution authorizing the agreement between the Borough of New Providence and the County of Union regarding the Conservation uh, Center for Leaf Disposal. Okay. Um, committee reports. Um, <coughs> I just want to uh, announce to everybody that early voting starts um, 1028 through 115 at the DeCorso Center, um, Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m., and Sunday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Um, also, the county rearranged some of the uh, districts. We added the district in New Providence, right, Wendy? Yes. So, like in District 12. 9 now, I go down to the DeCorso Center instead of the firehouse. So district 9 was um, split up also. Oh, okay. So you need to check your, your sample ballot. Oh. Yeah. So I can vote twice. Wrong. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so um, I just want everybody to be aware, just check where you're supposed to vote. Uh, but er anybody can go early vote in the decorso of Center during those times. Um, we had a trunk or treat for kids on Sunday. It was a, uh, a great thing, and I want to thank the uh, Lions and the PBA for hosting that. Uh, Fireman's Day was a great success, too. Uh, the kids had a great time. I think the parents did, too. I think I ate too many hot dogs. Um, and I just want to say Halloween is coming up next week. Um, hopefully it'll be warm and dry. Um, and, you know, just be careful. Leaves are starting to go out into the streets. And kids like to play in leaves. I did it when I was a kid. But, um, you know, when leaves are wet, they're slippery. So just be uh, cognizant of that. And that there's a 
ton of paving going on too, uh, as Bernadette uh, said uh, last meeting. So there's a lot of detours and streets being closed, but I think they're uh, doing pretty well. Alex, you, you probably have a better handle on that. Okay, uh, and that's all I have, so I am. Um, just to add to your leaves and leaves and paving, if you are having your street paved, you have to follow certain rules with the leaves, like not put them in the street. So just be cognizant of that. And they will be picked up. Yeah, they'll be picked so. up. Yeah. Um, we talked about the historical society. Other than that, uh, pretty much operations normal, um, except for the street fair on Sunday. Yep. Thank you. Okay, from community activities, got some interesting announcements here. Schools are closed November 9th and 10th for the New Jersey Teacher Convention, and New Providence Recreation is hosting several schools out camps to keep your kids busy. So I think that sounds interesting. Registration is open now through community pass for all sports, lacrosse, basketball, soccer, or tennis camp. So something to keep in mind. The lights are on for evening play until the end of November at the municipal pool uh, basketball courts, tennis courts, and the new pickleball courts. So go out and enjoy some evening play with the weather being so nice through November. Thank you. Thanks, uh, Matt. Operation is normal. Thank you. Um, the only thing that I remembered was this upcoming Saturday, I believe, is the Take Back Day. The police department's doing the pill Take Back Day. Yep. Um, it's on the borough website. Okay. So let's okay. participate. And they're all, always there to talk to people. And I think there's also a, the seats, the car seat check. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. It's part of police and community together. Um, the police department is always accessible, and that will be a good day for that. I did, I did that car seat check when my kids were little. I put my entire body weight on my car seat. I cranked it tight. I took it over to the police station. I'm like, there's no way. This thing's going to be perfect. And uh, the woman police officer got in the car, and she's like, sir, they're going to kill you today. <laughs> So if, if it's a free, um, you know, service. go service, please definitely take advantage of it. They, they do a great job. Okay. So, but that's it for me. Okay. Alex. Uh, just two, two things, Mayor. Um, uh, Diane and I met uh, two weeks ago, I believe it was, with uh, Jolanta Maziaris. Uh, I hope I'm pr pronouncing that properly. From, she's the regional external affairs person from JCPNL and First Energy. Uh, we just wanted to get an update on what they're doing in town, infrastructure we're doing, the sewer lining, the water mains, but what is the utility company doing for us uh, or what's in their plans. So a couple of things that we learned. Uh, Jace, in our area, they are replacing uh, a lot of the wooden poles that have the high tension wire, not what we see in the streets. Um, and interesting enough, the metal, they're going to be metal type uh, poles, not wood poles, so that... Uh, uh, squirrels and uh, other uh, wildlife do, do not crawl and get up there because that's probably one of the most common things for outages. In fact, that's what caused the outage the other morning. The other day, was yeah. a squirrel. Correct. Um, we um, also learned a little bit about their response time. Uh, we were kind of reassured that um, the staffing for our area is very well staffed, uh, one of the best uh, in, in their in their areas, as, as, she, as she told us. Uh, they have several PSA materials about what happens when there's an outage, when somebody reports it. I think what we see on social media at times, well, there's a truck here, but the guy's just sitting here. Well, the first truck that arrives actually assesses the problem and then calls in for the reinforcements. So uh, based on what materials she sends to Diane and myself, um, we'll decide how much we should post on, on the borough website. Uh, but it was very informative. Keith Lynch was there with us, so that, it was great. Um, second thing I wanted to mention and thank everybody uh, on council and the mayor especially for uh, the vigil that we held on Thursday night. Um, of course, Mayor Morgan spoke, Shonda uh, Yanzan from the MP Diversity. Uh, we had Reverend Victor Franco speak from uh, United Methodist Church. And of course, Rabbi Avi Friedman and Cantor Janet Roth from Summit um, JCC, my synagogue. Um, you know, Nadine, um, um, Nadine and uh, Diane helped with the candles. I think we had well over 200 people okay. there. I uh, also want to thank the New Providence Police Def Department and the DPW. I mean, it was just 
one, very safe, but very somber and very important vigil to have. So I thank everybody here for your support. A lot of the community reached out also to me to see what they can help with. So very touching and uh, very proud to be part of this community. Well, thank you for uh, getting everybody together, Alex. Thank you for it. It was uh, heartwarming, and I have to say, a lot of a lot of people came up to me and with tears in their eyes. Yes, sure. And it, it was an emotional <coughs> time. So thank you. Yeah, thank you, Lisa. You're up. Mayor, operations are normal. Okay. Mm -hmm. Quiet. Wendy, anything from administration? She left no report. Okay. Okay, at this time we have public comments. Anybody wishing to address council, come up, give your name and address. Good evening. Good evening. Kathleen Dolan, 12 Loyal Drive. As the demographics of New Providence are changing, so are the needs of our residents. Uh, we will recently welcomed the first phase of the continuing care com community at Lantern Hill. Uh, there's another phase planned, uh, totaling close to 1,000 new residents, over 62, who will be living on the southern edge of town along Mountain Avenue. A uh, 55 plus adult community is planned to be constructed also along Mountain Avenue. The senior population is quickly becoming the largest age demographic at 24% over 65 years old in our town. Uh, we're all aware that our municipal taxes have risen every year for the past 20 years, and seniors over 65 are typically retired and live on a fixed income. So even as more seniors move into retirement communities or continuing care facilities, tax increases are forcing some seniors to make the difficult decision to relocate. According to the 2020 Gratis Fund Survey, taken by over 800 New Providence adults of all ages, Older residents in New Providence want the following. Homes that allow people to age in place, affordable home services, better connection to local volunteer opportunities, local within town transportation options, and local activities geared toward adults 55 to 70 and an easy way to learn about them. Seniors say it's not easy to find opportunities to get involved, even though there are plenty of ways to contribute. Transportation isn't readily available, especially on the weekends, for those who can't or shouldn't drive. Seniors enjoy being a member of clubs or committees or local community groups, but the DeCorso Senior Center is no longer available in the evenings for meetings due to other community activities being scheduled. So unfortunately, the needs expressed by our seniors in this recent survey are not being fully met, and as a result, although they'd love to stay, many seniors are planning to move out of New Providence to live in age-friendly homes at a lower cost of living. So I wanted to, if, to know, can you share our borough's plans for enticing our seniors to stay? And is there interest in constructing a community center that can be open every day of the week from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. for all local clubs and committees to use? I think uh, our seniors are well taken care of in this town. There is transportation for them. Uh, with our senior bus, you can see we just had a hired a, a retired a retired bus driver. Um, you know, I, I I always laugh that everybody says you want to keep your taxes low, you want to do all these things. Now you're bringing up building a new community center. Now you're talking about hiring more people to to manage this. It, you know, everything that you you do costs money. And the seniors here, and I go down to the senior center quite a bit and know them personally. In fact, they're like second parents to me because I grew up here. Nobody's complaining. And they're all, they, they, they all know that other things uh, happen in town. And if you ask them, all their events, they used to be in the evening now they, they want their events in the afternoon because they don't like traveling in the dark. You take the average uh, uh, senior down at our senior center, it, it, I think it's like 80 years old. So they don't like driving in the dark. So I understand I'm a senior myself. And, um, you know, I, the, the seniors of long ago aren't the seniors of, uh, of today. 
they're, they're a lot more active and they're able to get around. So thank you for your comments. Anyone else wish you to address council? Seeing no one, I declare that. No, no, not quite, not quite. I, I just want to add to um, Mrs. Dolan was asking about, and that is, there is no senior transportation on the weekends. There's not. So it's not in Lantern Hill, and there's not here. You've hired a bus driver, swell. That's great. Doesn't do anything for them for the weekends. So there is a way to do this. And, and how do you propose to pay for it, John? <laughs> I've outlined the downtown improvement, the downtown improvement district, and um, that ordinance that was done in 2006, first, first one that was done that year. It says, it says what we can do with this ordinance is promote business downtown. So we tax the people downtown, correct? Let me ask you something, John. You've been on that DID board for how many years now? Since 2006. Right. Well, why haven't you done anything since 2006? Because I'm not a business owner. It, uh, what I you am, are, the treasurer, are, you, are you yelling at me? Are you not the treasurer? The treasurer takes care of the business. And this was never mentioned because I haven't heard one business the, you, owner. You're absolutely wrong. I, please, you're please. absolutely wrong. So what's happened in that, in that um, budget, if you look at it, you have money going right now from the DID to the borough. Right now, you have $30,000 in salary. Excuse me. Don't, I write the checks. John, that goes for the, the, uh, the public relations person. You know that Al, as well come as on, I do. Come on, come on. Stop. No, Al, stop. No, because you when, stop. I, when I went to, when you I went stop. to, Did they give? The, when I went to Jim Testa, and I said, where does that money go? I said, does it go to a specific person? And he said, no. You know it does. It doesn't. It, it does, John. Then talk to your, talk to your CFO. Yeah, okay. It, does it goes to a certain a salary. Person. That was the agreement made to have You're a public... You're wrong. Uh, well, apparently I'm not. You're walking off. So. You're absolutely wrong, Al, because look at it. I John, do the books. I do the books. You can do the books, and your book says you give the borough $30,000. You don't know where that money goes. That's I don't know the where whole goes. point. That's the whole point. Originally, you just said, Al. You don't know where it goes. I do know where it goes. No, no, Al. You said it's supposed to go to salary. It does. No, it doesn't. You just said that it doesn't know. I don't know where it goes. You don't know where it goes. I know exactly where it goes. No, you it don't. It goes to offset the... John, I'm not going to argue with you. You don't, Al, because... You're informed because you the... don't know. You Al, do please, not Al. know. I write the check. I don't care if you write the check. You write a check for thirty thousand dollars to the borough. That's, That's all you know. You don't know where that is dispersed to. That's it the is whole used, point. It's the whole point in the bylaws that when we originally did this for for the DID, it was to it was for the community relations. I was relations. there, John. Al, I know you're exactly not listening to yourself. You wanted to really. You're not because you wanted to. The business community wanted to hire a public relations person. Is that correct? We had a public relations person. We did, Joe. Right. Joe Steiner. Joe Steiner hasn't been involved for years. You're asking me whether we hired one or not. Joe, you know what? You, you should get your facts straight. Oh, man. I've you're, got, you're, I've got... I've John, you know what? You and I have been friends for a lot of years. And hey, I Al, I've got the facts. Listen, uh, you don't have the facts. You have the fact that you, the DID, right. pays the borough thirty thousand so, dollars. So let's go back. Let's go back to the original premise. Now, you know what? I think we're done talking. No, about we're not. It. So the original premise was: what does what does the DID do? DID. What's that? There's an agreement, John. What? I understand. I understand. But the DID was originally set up to promote the businesses downtown, right? So when that was done, Al, you're shaking your head, but because you don't know what you're talking about, John. Can I just and I'm trying to I'm trying to be 
polite about it. But you, you're being obstinate. I'm telling you where the money goes. You just don't want to hear it. And I understand that. Now, all I know is, all I know is, I read a check to the borough of New Providence. That, and that's exactly what I said. But, but you don't know where that money goes. I'm telling you where That's exactly my point. But I just told you where it goes. What don't you understand? I feel like I, I'm going to, uh, who's on first episode. Yeah, it's like a marriage around Can here. I just, John, I, the, the mayor, the mayor's I, trying to let you know that you write the check, the check comes to the borough, the borough uses that fund with its yep. agreement with the downtown improvement district to, to pay that's for not what your CFO a public says. relations That's person. not what your CFO says. Okay. okay. Well, it, there, we have an agreement. We have an agreement. I'm telling you what your CFO goes. says. Okay. Thank you. That, that's where the money goes. Excuse me? We don't, we're not collecting the money and what did, what did you say? using it. I said it. Yeah, I think we heard what you said. You know, I understand it's election season. I call it silly season. And what I have seen written, what I have seen reposted, I think it's disgusting. I've never seen this kind of stuff in this town. We're always known as nice place, nice people. I get attacked, I'm not even getting a run. I'm not even running. But for people that go call other people names like low lives, pedophiles, uh, it, 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 it's unbelievable to me. And this, yeah, and, I know, well, somebody reposted it. Well, and let me tell you something, John. When you repost something, I you own it too. Well, to okay, I'm not, I'm not talking about you. When you repost something, you own it. Just as, just as the person that, that uh, wrote it. I am, I, 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 I have to tell you. You asked the question, I gave an answer. It's not the answer you want to hear. Even, even our, our, our court said, we have an agreement. We know exactly where that money goes. Exactly where every penny goes. Anyone else wishing to address counsel? Seeing nowhere, I declare the public comments closed. I need a motion for one through five, one through seven, 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 one through five and seven to twelve. Go so moved. Second. Awesome. <laughs> one moment, please. Roll call, please. Mrs. Valiska? Aye. Mr. Desai? Aye. Mr. Kaminsky? Aye. Mrs. Jaffer? Yes. Mr. Kaminsky? <coughs> yes. Mrs. McKnight? Yes. And then number six. And number six. So moved. I'll, I'll second. second. Roll call, please. Mrs. Valeska? Aye. Mr. Desarno? Aye. Mrs. Jaffray? Yes. Mr. Kogan? Yes. Mrs. McKnight? Yes. Yes. Motion for adjournment. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. No, so be it. Happy Halloween.